In this video, I'll show you how to create desktop shortcut icons straight from Google Chrome. Stick around. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. I hope you all had a great Christmas or New Year's or whatever it is that you celebrate and it's good to be back in the saddle. Now today I'm going to show you how to create shortcut icons on your desktop straight from Google Chrome because this is a tip that I actually learned over the last couple of weeks that I didn't know existed. So enough with the chatter and let's go ahead and jump right in. The first thing that you're going to want to do is of course open up your Google Chrome and open up different tabs for all of the websites that you want to create a desktop shortcut for. As you can see right here, I've got a new tab. I'm gonna close this one, but I've got Facebook and I've got YouTube here that we're gonna use in today's demo to create those shortcuts. Once you've got them open, you're gonna to want to click on the tab first that you wanna create your first icon. On the top right-hand side, you're gonna to want to click on the three dots. Come on down and hover over more tools. From here, you should see an option that says create shortcut. Now, if this is grayed out for any reason, chances are you're either using a guest account or you haven't signed in to Google Chrome with like a Google Chrome account and you'll need to do that in order to activate this feature. So once you've signed in, this should re-highlight and you should be able to create a shortcut icon. In any case, we're going to left click on create shortcut and you can see it's gonna say create shortcut. It's going to adopt whatever the website icon is. In this case, it's the Facebook logo and it's gonna name it Facebook or whatever the default is and you can name this to whatever you'd like. So you, you will just say custom Facebook here. Once you've got that, you can choose the open as a window. So every time you open up this icon, it's gonna open up its own individual window. For now, we're just gonna leave that unchecked and we're gonna left click on create. And to do it for the second one, you're just gonna want to click on the tab. In this case, it's YouTube. Go on back up to the three dots, come on down to more tools, create shortcut, same process. It adopts the uh, YouTube icon. We'll name it YouTube and we'll leave this unchecked as well. And then left click on create. Now, if we minimize the window here, the browser, you should be able to see that it's gonna be on your desktop and it's going to show them just like this. And it's gonna show whatever you rename them to. In this case, we renamed it to custom Facebook and then we left the YouTube just as YouTube, but it keeps the icon files for that website, even though the default is under Google Chrome. Because if you were to go into the desktop, click on new, we'll do shortcut www.facebook.com and hit next, and we'll just call this Facebook again, and hit finish, you can see that this one has adopted the Google Chrome icon versus if we were to just create it directly from Google Chrome, it adopts the custom icon for that website. As you can see, it's a very simple and easy to do process and works really well at keeping your icons organized. Now this does only work within Google Chrome, even the new Microsoft Edge, even though it is built on the Chromium platform, does not yet feature this feature and I don't have any information on if it is coming at all. Anyways, guys, that is going to wrap it up for this week's video. Thank you guys all so much for watching. I hope you liked it and you got something out of it. I'm excited for a new year. I hope you guys are too, and we'd love to see you in the community. So be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and we will see you on the next one. Peace.